Yonkers is quickly becoming, uh, quickly becoming uh, and gaining momentum as a destination city for artists to live, work, and exhibit. As we announced recently, this coming weekend, Yonkers has the pleasure of hosting its inaugural Yonkers Arts Weekend. So let's give everyone a round of applause for that. <laughs> which, which will feature a diverse uh, and thriving arts community emerging right here in our city. This evening, I'm proud to welcome all the local, regional, and international Yonkers Arts Weekend partners who have helped make this exciting inaugural event a reality, and that's including uh, Yonkers Arts, FIT Urban Studio, Torch Gallery, Dawn of New York, Yoho Artists, Richard Haas, uh, Blue Door Art Center, Sarah Lawrence College, SUNY Purchase, Yo Fi Film Festival, Hudson River Museum, Untermeyer Conservancy, and the Downtown Bid, and all of the participating artists. The city of Yonkers is no stranger to creativity and innovation, and it was creativity and innovation that built this great city. Just outside these doors, just outside these doors, Elijah Otis Elevator, or we called it Otis Elevator, but Elijah Otis uh, invented the elevator brake. He didn't invent the elevator, but he did invent the brake. And if you didn't, it didn't matter if you had an elevator if you didn't have a brake, right? <laughs> so it was the brake that actually made, had actually allowed him to thrive. Uh, tech, uh, tech Titan, MindSpark is inventing digital applications. Art collector Daniel Wolf and his wife Maya Lin are transforming our old city jail uh, into a, a, a modern art house. Uh, David Hammonds has recently relocated his studio to Southwest Yonkers. And Robert Zanenick has recently relocated to the historic McVickers building. Yonkers Arts Weekend is a citywide celebration of artistic creativity, showcasing art net, art, artwork uh, across four dynamic venues. Uh, the pop-up galleries in the downtown waterfront district, Yoho Artists uh, open studios at the historic Alexander Smith carpet mills, Untermeyer Gardens, which will feature a performing art and the first ever FIT fashion show. How cool is that going to be? Uh, tonight we have another exciting announcement. In partnership with the community engagement through the arts, that's this CETA, C-E-T-T-A, Blue Door Art Center, and the Downtown Bid. We are, are calling on all creative people to participate in the open art, or open call for art, or urban art. It's a public art initiative involving placing artwork at three vacant commercial spaces um, <clears throat> and the painting of three murals in the downtown area along Main Street and Wilburton Avenue. Hi, my name is Hafa Benkati. I'm the Executive Director of Community Engagement Through the Arts, an initiative of Groundwork Hudson Valley. And I'd like to speak tonight about our open call for works, our request for proposals. You can find that request on the City of Yonkers website. So we're looking for artists who have experience with murals, but that shouldn't stop you. If you're an artist and, and you have work that you think fits in, and you've always wanted to do large-scale works, by all means, please by all means, please submit. We're looking forward to hearing from artists, both local and throughout New York State. Uh, from, the Blue Door, from the Blue Door Art Gallery, uh, Lewis Perlman. I'm really very excited by this opportunity to enhance the quality and the scope of art in our community. Uh, we've been planning this for months and months to start to install artwork throughout the storefronts in the downtown area so that people walking around will have the experience of art throughout the city. Um, I'd like to just introduce our, my colleagues, Arlie Star Weinstein and Bob Shore, who are the, my co-directors. We are doing all sorts of exciting things in our organization. It's not just an art gallery. We install public art. We have all sorts of performances in our gallery, including our first Latino uh, open mic, uh, and I'm extremely excited, and I encourage everyone to get a chance to go up to the fifth floor and see this very exciting exhibit there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Lewis. And uh, 
Tonight, I'm also excited to announce that the dedicated effort, through the dedicated efforts of our very own Yonkers Arts, uh, we uh, they have produced the first city, what they call the city's first arts map. Uh, the map highlighted over 47 art locations, institutions, and public sculptures. For the first time, people will be able to walk this city, one of the most walkable in the country, and enjoy all the artwork that we have to offer. I want to take this time to thank Yonkers Arts, who created the map for its commitment uh, to the flourishing art community here in our great city of Yonkers. And to walk us through the map, please, I'd like to welcome Steve Force. Steve? Thanks, Mayor Spano. There's art everywhere in Yonkers. There are performances every day in Yonkers. There are magnificent buildings throughout Yonkers. And there are artists working and thriving in Yonkers. And thanks to your initiatives, Mayor Spano, the number of thriving artists is growing daily. Yonkers Arts wanted a way to call attention to this vibrant art scene. The public art, the venues, the architecturally significant buildings, and create a guide for locating these, these places. The final result is the Art Spots map that we are asking you to unveil for us tonight. The, the taller piece represents the front of the map uh, with, with some uh, art spots illustrated and all the others are color coded and numbered. And then this portion would be the back of the map which has photographs and descriptive information of over 70 different art spots. So we, copies of the map are available today and we'll be distributing through them throughout the weekend. And, Hope you enjoy them, hope you can use this, and uh, we thank you for this opportunity to do this for our beautiful city. So before we conclude this evening, I want to point out that tonight we are surrounded by over 20,000 square feet and two floors of spectacular artistic expression from 72 FIT Urban Studio faculty members, students, and Torch Gallery artists. Uh, over nine days and over 12,000 hours later, the partnership between the city, FIT Urban Studio, and Torch Gallery produced this game-changing pop-up gallery on a scale that downtown Yonkers has not yet experienced. So from, uh, from Miami's famed art to the downtown waterfront district, we are excited to have the professionals at FIT Urban Studio as a partner in this exhibit. FIT Urban Studio is a fine arts organization developed in 2003 by FIT faculty to bridge the gap between FIT students and real world experience. I'm Stephanie Demanuel, chair of the fine arts department in which Urban Studio is housed. And we are really grateful um, for the presence and support tonight of the Dean of Art and Design, uh, Joanne Arbuckle at FIT, and the Assistant Dean, Sass Brown. Um, obviously, this is a collaborative effort, um, but Melissa Stark, our department coordinator, who is the club advisor, is the one who will not say no <laughs> to, <laughs> to a project like this, which uh, she can envision, she can pull her people together, students, faculty, alumni, they trust that it's a good thing, uh, that she recommends it, and, and we're just incredibly grateful for the introduction that we've had to the city of Yonkers. It's really a beautiful town. It has beautiful light, <laughs> I think. And, you know, all the amazing people who have helped us along the way. Um, our liaison is Chris St. Lawrence, who we've had most exposure to. Um, and he's also um, a, a real can do person as well. So there are so many people to thank, so many hands that made this happen. Um, and we're just really, really grateful for the opportunity and to share this with you. So here's Melissa Stark, our department chair. 
<clears throat> so I'm also going to start by expressing some gratitude. Um, I first wanted to start with Richard Pitts. Richard, could you? <laughs> um, he's the co. Uh, Richard is a co-founder of Urban Studio. He's also a friend and mentor to me. Um, and he introduced all of us to Yonkers. Many of you know him from his totems that are currently displayed at the library. Uh, next, I'd like to thank the city of Yonkers for inviting us here. We're happy to be a part of Yonkers Art Weekend and the city's general initiative to support the arts. Of course, Joe Cotter for lending us this space and the freedom to work in it and renovate it as needed for the transformation that you see today. Next, I just wanted to say a few words about the project. Uh, participating in Yonkers Art Weekend gave me a chance to set a great example to the students, how to take a situation, work together, and seize an opportunity. In the upcoming weeks, um, sorry, uh, in the upcoming weeks, they'll be engaged uh, within another artistic community, and uh, they'll have the opportunity to meet new people, have new conversations, and form new ideas about themselves as emerging artists. So again, thank everyone. I want to thank everyone and ask that you please join us on the fifth floor for the continuation of the exhibition. Hey, with, with that, I just want to again say thank you for all of UFIT, for our friends who participated today. We know this is, uh, uh, the, it may be the first annual, but we know that this is, uh, uh, will continue to come and we'll do this for years and years at end. And, uh, and again, thank you and let's go to the fifth floor.